hey welcome back everyone to another video and in this one i'll be going through the whole installation process of windows 3.11 from dos and this will be running on uh, as close to an actual 486 cpu as i can get so 486 was a very early day processor by intel it's collectible for someone who's into retro computing and old tech it is still one of the uh, one version of that processor at least uh, with the math co processor and everything is still supported on, uh, in Linux till date and the 486 uh, th that I have is not an actual hardware it's implemented on an FPGA so I'll be running that on my uh, Terrasic DE10 Nano which has a uh, Altera Cyclone 5 FPGA on board and I'll be running uh, it using the AO486 IP from the Mr. Project. Now, if you haven't heard of Mr. Project, it's a really, ni really nice uh, set of um, soft core processors that you can run on this particular FPGA board. And they have everything from Atari to Amiga uh, to Apple II and everything in between. So it's a, it's a pretty decent collection of processors that you can you know kind of go ahead and work with and try it out on uh, with uh, close to as as close to a real hardware as you can get without needing to go ahead and buy the actual hardware and of course if you're not into emulation a lot of people think emulations is it's like it's not like real, running a real hardware but this is kind of as close as you can get so the Mr. Project, uh, especially for the AO486, works in a very special kind of a setup, uh, which I really like and which really kind of exposes the usability of uh, ARM processors and uh, FPGAs combined, like the Altera Cyclone 5. And the reason it, it when you boot it up, it runs Linux and it has a back end uh, kind of a uh, it runs everything under the Bosch uh, emulator, so that's an emulator for x86. Uh, the emulator itself has its own uh, virtualized CPU, but uh, the Mr. Project does not use that. In instead, it interfaces it to the onboard uh, FPGA, which is then running uh, the actual soft core 486 CPU. So. Uh, the Bosch kind of provides all the interface so that means uh, you can natively run stuff on 486 and at the same time also have uh, connectivity via HDMI, audio via HDMI uh, and then you can have USB keyboard and mouse plugged in uh, and you can have your floppy disks and your hard disk images on your SD card so you're not you know actually you don't have to go out and buy all the peripherals that were uh, kind of old so you get a pretty decent you, you flexibility in terms of the peripherals you use um, i just use my normal uh, usb wireless keyboard and that works just fine because everything is then interfaced through linux but all the execution is near real time because it's then actually running on an fpga so with that said the installation process was simple uh, you can really feel uh, at times uh, the how, how slow the 486 was because if you run it on a virtualized CPU environment you get a lot of kind of performance boost uh, because you're running on a fast hardware but in this case they are uh, not running on a fast hardware it's I think pretty close to the actual clock speeds uh, that the 486 had. The only time it's actually going to run faster than the hardware at that time is when it's uh, using the disk and uh, that's because again I'm using the SD card and it has a read write of about 10 megabytes per second uh, so even if you're reading and writing at the same time from a floppy image to a virtual hard disk image uh, it's going to be 5 mbps on average so considering that a single floppy image is just 1.2 to 1.4 megabytes um, yeah it's it's actually pretty fast so all that happens pretty quick until unless there's like extracting packages or installing stuff where you actually need to do some processing uh, is the time where you really feel that you know you are running on an actual hardware with windows 3.11 it's not as obvious because you know it was kind of the software that was made for the day 
uh, uh, during that time during that period and it's actually it just runs fine and you can you can't really feel it kind of slowing down uh, but if you run uh, other operating systems that i will do uh, in the future uh, that's actually the time you can actually feel it so uh, that's about it for me right now uh, the video will continue i'll go into the depth of uh, everything else it's all visual i have some music playing in the background um, and uh, i will go through the whole installation process the demos and some more applications that are in there so till that i think it's around 20 minutes long or something uh, till that time i guess thank you so much for watching uh, and i'll see you in the next one please enjoy the rest of the video